Hi all, uh, welcome to my new channel, The Interventionist. Today I am planning to have a basic discussion. I am planning to do a pilot video because this is the first video I ever uploading to this particular channel. Now coming to the image basics. So we will start like what all images you have to see for a particular brain study. So in an MRI, we unlike acquisition of CT we have to acquire the images in the respective planes for example this is a axial image taken in T2 weighted phase so this is an axial image taken in T2 weighted phase so what is T1 and T2 those are detailed physics if anyone needs uh, help regarding that you can always put in the comments I'll be uh, trying to make another video or we can come into discussion regarding those things later on so right now what I'm scrolling up and down is actually an axial acquisition of T2 weighted images of brain. So that is what I'm scrolling up and down. So, so basic imaging sequences are all called spin echo sequences which is ending SE, it will end in SE like T2 SE, T1 SE like that. So in depending upon the machines there might be slight variations another variant of images which has lesser data faster acquisition is called fse that is faster acquisition is there for spin echo fast spin echo imaging so this is axial t2 images this is sagittal t2 image this is axial t1 image this is an axial T2 flare image. Flare, <coughs> fluid attenuation inversion recovery sequence. That is flare. Okay, so it is basically an IR sequence. IR stands for inversion recovery. So this is an inversion recovery sequence. So this is axial image of T1. We have axial image of T2. This is T2 images. Then we have other plane acquisitions like sagittal or coronal. So this is like a special acquisition taken for coronal phase. It is taken in flare imaging. These are basically flare images. Now coming to one another detailed set of imaging which is very important in almost all reporting which is whether it be stroke protocol, whether it be malignancies or any other particular imaging, one important sequence is diffusion weighted imaging so this is what we call a diffusion weighted imaging so uh, what does it imply what what do you, why you why what is diffusion weighted imaging diffusion weighted imaging is actually an imaging protocol which we use as basically t2 images with different b values b value for in this particular image is approximated at b ranges from 50 to 1000 which we take so this is actually an image acquired in b value of 1000 so you can't report this alone you need to correlate these images with its apparent diffusion coefficient this is called adc so this is the adc map it is called the proper terminology is called adc map this is diffusion weighted imaging so this is the adc map of this diffusion weighted imaging sequence so what basically it represents is so we have as i told you earlier we have a b values taken from b0 to b1000 or even more than that some people are doing depending upon different uh, technician uh, adaptability radiographer but the standard practice is you have to take a b0 you have to take a b50 you have you can take either a b100 or higher images Generally in my center we do is B0, B50, B500 and B1000 and we send the images for reporting for either B1000 depending upon the signal characteristics and we correlate with the ADC. So once you have ADC, generally you don't need to see all the images because ADC what it represents is the average, it's, a, it's like a statistical interpretation of all the B values into an image. So from the B0 b50 b100 b500 b1000 all the images are extrapolated into a graph and based on that you make this adc images it's called apparent diffusion coefficient okay so this is the image so like we'll come to the details later on now 
the last of the basic sequences is gradient echo imaging so this is like a very fast acquired image and basically it has a imaging features of a t2 image it's like it somewhat looks like t2 when you see a regular t2 image you can see the main things are almost looking similar to that of t2 the basal ganglia it looks brighter here as well as it's here the, you can see the track that is internal capsule external capsule appears dark here as well as here so similarly the areas which were bright in t2 are already bright in uh, gradient as well so this is like a t2 modified t2 kind of image but it is acquired using gradient echo image